Keir Starmer was humiliated over his political flip-flopping as left-wingers in the party called for the leader to apologize for his devastating Brexit U-turn. Sir Keir was this week called on by allies of former leader Jeremy Corbyn to apologize for leapfrogging between Brexit policies. It came as veteran members of the party claimed the leader's decision to offer voters a second referendum decimated Labour's so-called Northern Red Wall in the Midlands and North. Ian Lavery, John Trickett and Laura Smith filed a report into attitudes to the party among its supporters, with it writing an op-ed in HuffPost UK. On winning the Labour leadership race, Sir Keir told members it was time to accept the Brexit result, despite only months before advocating a second vote. The trio who pinned the article, all of whom were frontbenchers under Mr. Corbyn, are not the first to call out Sir Keir on his Brexit policy. Mr. Corbyn's initial suggestions of accepting the vote and moving to get a good deal resulted in severe pushback, including from Sir Keir. The pressure from many Labour MPs forced Mr. Corbyn's hand to pursue a policy for a second vote. This was much to the dismay of Labour's voting base, a significant proportion of which voted leave. Many, including Mr. Labour, say this ultimately cost Labour its previously safe territory of the north of England. It isnt the first time Sir Keir has been accused of backtracking on vital policy details. Andrew Pearce in a piece for the Daily Mail accused him of flip-flopping during his time under Mr. Corbyn's leadership. It came as an alleged coup was on the horizon for Labour in the run-up to the 2017 general election, in which Mr. Corbyn performed better than expected. Here, Mr. Pierce explained how Starmer joined the exodus and called for Corbyn to be replaced. Sir Keir reportedly said, it is simply untenable now to suggest that we can offer an effective opposition without a change of leader. He shortly thereafter left Mr. Corbyn's shadow frontbenchers as Home Affairs Secretary, only to rejoin a matter of months later as Brexit Secretary, 